Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix Channel. It's Thursday, and I know I was going to continue with the 80s pop presets today, but it dawned on me that I can't really finish them until next weekend anyway, so I've got all next week to finish them up. And it's also new IR day because I got an email today from 3 Sigma Audio and they released some new uh, IR packs, so I, you know, I bought some. And I want to show you them compared to the old trustworthy ones that I've been using by 3 Sigma as well. Show you the differences and the, some, in, in some cases the lack of differences. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. I'll also do a quick uh, refresher on how to uh, install the IRs into the Helix. Just for those people that are just, you know, now tuning in. I always forget that you haven't all watched from the very beginning. It's like, what the hell do you do with your time? I'm just saying. So, want to get our Pepsi challenge on? Here's a quick tip that I that's kind of unrelated, but I just want to show it to you, and I discovered this accidentally, was how to copy and paste one snapshot from one location to another, because sometimes you have, you know, something like I've got here, which is four of the exact same things, but I want to change them slightly, So, but I want to keep the same basic architecture move from one to the other. So you just basically tap one, tap another, copy snapshot one to snapshot two. All right, here's my Buzzo pewter. And let's open up the Helix files. Let's pull out. Here's the new stuff. Uh, Marshall 1960 or 196 AHW, I believe. And uh, Marshall Baskets, which is a batch basket weave 412 and then a Roland uh, JC120. Now, um, I already loaded them. So basically all you do, and I'll just do it again just for fun, is open up a... Uh, We'll open one that we don't have in there. We'll put the Friedman in there. Why not? All right. So I use the 96K wave files, and I only use uh, the the uh, one uh, the A's for the most part because it's a power tube uh, based power amp. It's a uh, tube based power amp, I should say. The B, the one B, two B, three B, and all that. Honestly, I don't even use two and four either. They're a little bit boomy to my for my taste. So. I end up using 1A, 3A, and 5A, and that is basically it. And uh, But that's just me. You might like the other ones. So I'll just take this entire 96K folder, roll it on over, and you'll see that only three things or three positions are lighting up. Just find uh, three empty ones. There you go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Okay, let's start out with, and I've got my basically tester crunch preset here, which is just, you know, a simple compressor, the uh, 2204 mod. And I made this preset yesterday for a, a client during a FaceTime tutorial, and it, uh, it, the original had uh, a low, mid, high gain, and a solo snapshot. Uh, he wanted it for the song Slither by uh, Velvet Revolver. So we sort of modified things and made it all fit, and uh, he's going to end up using probably the mid for the uh, rhythm of the song and then for and then hit the solo for the for the solo. The high is a little bit high gain, but you know, I wanted to give him some options. So, what I've got going on here is all low gain settings, but each one has different IRs. So, the first one has the 1960A, which is a Marshall, and it's got a 1A on top and a 3A on the bottom. So, you get a nice uh, combination of tones. Uh, I've got these, you know, bypassed. And the second one is 1960V, which is all, also a Marshall. And it's got a 1A and a 3A. And these are some new ones. The uh, Marshall 1960AH, which uh, I'm not exactly, I don't know much about that cabinet, but uh, they made it available today, so I bought it. And then a Marshall Basket Weave. And I'm using a 1A and a 3A as well. Um, I'll show you the differences between them. And then... Uh, then I'll uh, change the top one to a 3A and the uh, bottom to a 5A. But I'm going to have to un unplug my microphone because it's going to be, you know, pick noise and that's annoying. Thank you. 
Now, to me, the uh, you know the last uh, the last one was the darkest sounding, but I think I would really love that one in conjunction with a brighter sounding one. So let's go over to the uh, my current favorite, which was the 1960V, and place one of those baskets in there as well, like a 3A. There we go. And give that a listen. I think this combination will be pretty uh, pretty potent. <laughs> I like that a lot. So combining IRs is something that I do in virtually every preset I ever make. Um, you just can't get a, you know, depth and complexity of tone without doing it, I don't think. And it's just a, you know, a great way to uh, add some character to your sound. Now, um, let's go back to the first one and let's hear 3A and a 5A. Because they, uh, the one A is decidedly brighter than uh, than the rest, so I'm going to do uh, a three A and a five A on all of them. Good stuff. Now let's go over to uh, the tester for clean. I've got the new, uh, what do you call it? Roland JC120 uh, IRs from Three Sigma today. And you're not gonna hear a lot of difference between these because with the clean stuff, it's so much more subtle. Um, I'm having difficulty distinguishing them at all. So, you know, let's go through them. And uh, we're gonna start with the uh, Vox uh, AC30, then Bad Cat, then Fender 65 Twin, and then the new Roland. There you go, everybody. Mm, good time, IR fun. I can see myself using the uh, the checkerboard or the Marshall basket, as they're calling it, um, along with my trusted 1960V and the high watt. I really love the high watt. I think those three are going to be my go-to, uh, you know, 412s. Uh, the AHW is kind of in, in the same as the uh, Marshall 1960A. Eh. I mean, I like it. I don't love it. Um, combining it with one that I really love is a, is a great way to uh, to add some uh, different flavor or taste to a tone, though. Mixing them up, mm, that's the way to go. With the clean ones, though, I gotta tell you, um, they're so subtle. The differences are so subtle. I imagine they would get a little bit more distinct if you're dealing with dirty tones. So you know. Experimenting is still, uh, there's still some, uh, some experimenting needed, but I mean, I like the, uh, the new, uh, JC120, but I don't, uh, you know, I don't like it more or less than the Bad Cat 212. Eh, 
which I really enjoy. So, I mean, they're all good. So far, they haven't uh, delivered, you know, I haven't bought anything from them that I didn't really like at all. Um, I'm not partial to the Friedman or the Diesel or the Mesa stuff just because I don't play that kind of music. And that kind of tone doesn't really appeal to me. But everything else I've gotten from them has been A-OK. -okay. Or as my old roommate Tim would say, A-O-C. I think he was dyslexic. I don't know. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow with another Free Set Friday. No idea what it's going to be. We'll see. Might even be uh, the preset that uh, I demonstrated the, uh, the heavy stuff with. It was made uh, yesterday uh, during a FaceTime uh, tutorial that I gave. So if you would like to sign up for a FaceTime tutorial, email me right here. So that might be what happens tomorrow. We'll see. I might get creative by then. Meh. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. And until then, rock on.